we're going to discuss test of hypothesis using p-value approach. Let's have the steps in hypothesis testing. Number one, determine the null hypothesis or its O and the alternative hypothesis or its A. Number two, choose the level of significance or alpha and direction. Number three, compute the test statistic. Number four, determine the p-value or p. Number five, compare the p-value and the significance level or alpha, then conclude and interpret. Let us now test the hypothesis from this given problem, number one. And it says that the owner of a factory that sells a particular bottle fruit juice claims that the average capacity of their product is 250 ml. To test the claim, a consumer group gets a sample of 50 bottles, calculate the capacity of each bottle, and then find the mean capacity to be 248 ml with a standard deviation of 5 ml. The question is, is the claim true? Let's start with the first step. Number 1. Determine the null hypothesis or its O and the alternative hypothesis or its A. So our null hypothesis is mu is equal to 250 because this is the claim of the owner. And alternative hypothesis is mu is less than 250 because the computed mean from the sample is only 248. Number two, choose the level of significance or alpha and direction. So we're going to choose the alpha level to be 0 0.05 and the direction given is left tail. Number three, compute the test statistic. So we're going to use the formula Z is equal to X bar minus mu all over S divided by the square root of N. Substituting the values, we have 148 minus 150 all over 5 divided by the square root of 50, which is equal to negative 2 over 5 divided by 7.07. .07. Negative 2 comes from 148 minus 150, and 7.07 .07 comes from the square root of 50. So negative 2 over 5 divided by 7.07 .07 is equal to negative 2 divided by 0 0.71. Where 0 0.71 comes from 5 divided by 7.07. .07. So negative 2 divided by 0 0.71 is equal to negative 2.82. Number 4, determine the p-value or p with the computed z-score which is negative 2.82. We're going to use the z-table. So to find the p-value or area, we're going to look for the first two digits in the first column. So we have negative 2.8. Then the third digit in the first row which is 0 0.02. Then get their intersection. We have 0 0.00240 or 0 0.00240. So our p value then is equal to 0 0.00240 or 0 0.002. Number 5. Compare the p-value and the significance level or alpha, then conclude and interpret. So p is less than alpha because 0 0.002 is less than 0 0.05. So our decision is reject the null hypothesis. And our interpretation is the claim is not true because there is a significant difference between the sample mean 
and the population mean. Let's have the second problem. It is claimed that the average age of senior high school working students is 17 years. Rogelio, who is a statistics student, selected a random sample of 25 working students. He computed their average, which resulted in 18 years, with a standard deviation of 4 years. Does this mean that the average age of working students is different from 17 years? Use alpha level which is 0 0.05. Let us test now the hypothesis using the steps. Number 1. Determine the null hypothesis or HO and the alternative hypothesis or HA. So our null hypothesis is mu is equal to 17 because this is the claim. And the alternative hypothesis is mu is greater than 17 because the computed mean is 18. Number 2. Choose the level of significance or alpha and direction. So our alpha level is 0 0.05 and the direction given is right tail. Number 3. Compute the test statistic. So we're going to use the formula z is equal to x bar minus mu all over s divided by the square root of n. Substituting the values, we have 18 minus 17 all over 4 divided by the square root of 25, which is equal to 1 over 4 divided by 5. And 4 divided by 5 is 0 0.8. So 1 divided by 0 0.8 is equal to 1.25. Number 4, determine the p-value or p given the computed z-score which is 1.25. Now, for easy way to find the p-value of z which is equal to 1.25, we're going to use its opposite z-score which is z is equal to negative 1.25. Let us find now the p-value of z which is equal to negative 1.25 in our Z table. Look the first two digits in the first column. Then the third digit in the first row. Get the intersection we have 0 0.10565 or 0 0.10565. So our p-value is equal to 0 0.10565 or 0.11 Number 5 Compare the p-value and the significance level or alpha then conclude and interpret So p is greater than alpha because 0 0.11 is greater than 0 0.05 So our decision is accept the null hypothesis wherein the interpretation will be the claim is true because there is no significant difference between the sample mean and the population mean.